We've got this 79 series single cab here. We're just about to start a big build on it. This one's getting a J-Max 6x6 conversion, automatic transmission, one of our trays with a camper on the back, and a lot of other accessories such as bar work, interior fit out, electrical, performance, etc. We're gonna show you through some of the steps as we build this vehicle. First up is the J-Max 6x6 conversion. So we need to get it into the workshop, strip the rear end and start the process. Let's go. We've finished the fabrication side of this 6x6 build. As you've seen, we start by stripping the rear end out of the car, cutting off the back of the factory chassis, and then welding the J-Max chassis into place. From here, it's all pretty much bolt in. We've got to get all the rear suspension in, the diff housings and the drive line, and then we move on to all the little fiddly stuff. So let's get on with the assembly of this 6x6 and get it back rolling again. We've got the 6x6 up in our main workshop now. The front suspension's been installed. We've put all of the rear end together, so we've got both diff housings and axles in, wheels, hubs, brakes, etc. We've got our exhaust and our long range tank fitted up. Currently working on all the fiddly stuff with brake lines, fuel lines and wiring to get that all neat and tidy. And then next up, we'll be moving on to the automatic transmission.
Right, oh, we've finished the 6x6 conversion on this 79 build now. We've also fitted the automatic transmission. So our full GVM package of 5,800 kilos is finished. It's all been test driven and working perfectly. Next up, we'll be moving on to more of the standard accessories. First, we're gonna complete the interior fit out with some sound deadening and stereo upgrades. Then we'll move on to all of our bar work with winches and lighting. So let's get it back into the workshop and move on with those things. Well guys, we've finished off the bar work and all of the electrical system on this car. We've got the AIB large tube bar work, colour coded, which looks fantastic. Winch, lights, bash plate, recovery point. Then for our electrical, we've done a dual battery system, the UHF and aerial, some work lights up on the roof rack. We've also done an Alpine head unit with reverse camera. The interior got a full sound ending package covering the whole interior of the cabin. We've done a diesel pre-filter and a catch can as well. That's most of the basics done for this build. Now it's gonna be heading off to our sister company, Jackson's Carry Me Camper. They'll be doing a custom tray setup and putting a camper on the rear. Once that's done, it'll come back in-house for us to finish off all of the last little touches and get it ready for handover to the customer. We've got the 6x6 back from Jackson's Carry Me Camper who have built their custom tray, the front canopy, and put on one of their hard lid campers on the rear. This really is now the full complete package. We're very happy with how the build's turned out. We're going to be doing a breakdown video to take you through the finer details of the fit out. So watch this space and check out that video.